Hi, welcome to the seventh edition of the Index Match Array series. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a large list with blanks, such as this in our column A, and create a condensed list with a formula. So, for instance, if I delete Patty, which she sits right there, you'll notice that she disappears and the list gets smaller and smaller. So what it is, is sort of a list that looks at a range and then um, as we delete items or as items blank in the range we have a condensed list of items. So it's sort of like the unique array we did in the um, second video but in this video it's uh, rather than taking unique items we're just taking items that aren't blank. Let me know if you have any questions you can either uh, paste a comment below or email me at xlsxgeek at gmail.com Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and delete this. And what we want to do with these is sort of figure out what the main formula to use to, to basically get at what we need. So we need a formula that tells us um, whether or not a cell contains any values. So if there's a blank, we want it to say, we want it to give us some different answer rather than if there is an item in there. And the best formula for this that I know of um, is the search formula. But it's kind of different because rather than taking in two arguments, we're really only going to take in one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my search formula. I'm going to find text. And here's the thing, I'm not going to find any text. I'm just going to put a comma there. And then I'm going to search within a larger group, a larger text, and then just close it off. And then of course press F4 in that range and hit enter and then if I go in here and I go to formulas calculate now uh, it's gonna give me a series of ones and value errors so what search does if there's no value to look up all search does is tell you whether characters exist within a cell or not so if any characters exist within that range I'm gonna get a one right because I didn't give it any value to look up However, if there are no characters, so if there is a blank, I'm going to get this value error right here. Uh, this function is going to be the most integral part of this formula, and we're going to be using these value errors to, uh, to differentiate the strings from the blanks. Okay, so what do we want to do from here? Well, we need to do something with our value error, so we can use our if error. Uh, if error value, <clears throat> and our value if error is uh, let's go large in this case so I'm gonna go 2 to the 32nd okay so what's next so if I go into here go to calculate now so all of the values that I do want are low and all of the values I don't want are high so what I'm gonna do then is differentiate our low values by using a row formula and if you've been following along, you'll notice that I'm using the same exact tricks that I use in all of these other index match array videos. I'm going to close that off, and I'm going to divide it by a thousand. Um, actually, I don't need that just yet. I go to calculate now. Okay, perfect. So. Uh, if you don't already know, I'm going to use a small function, and I'm going to use a small function to sort of pick the smallest one based on an incrementation, which will be my k value. So I'm going to go small, smal tab, and my k value will be a rows function. And I go rows c3 through c3. I'm going to close that off. F4 on the one because as I drag it down I need it to go one, two, three, four. It's an incrementer uh, because I want the first smallest, then the second smallest, and the third smallest. So this should bring up a one or 1.003 1 which is perfect because Shirley sits in the third cell. As we drag it down it goes 1.003, 1.004, 1.005, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then at 10, you'll see 10 right there, it skips it and goes to 11, 12. So that's exactly what we want. So what we're going to do, use now is a match formula. We're going to match this small number within this array. And 
we're going to use an exact match, close that off, and we get a one. Okay, so perfect. So now what we can do is use our index, and our array is going to be this same exact array, we'll comma, and our match will bring up that row number that we're trying to find. We'll close that off and drop this down, and there we go. What we want to do is get rid of these zeros, so we want the zeros to null out. And what I could do is I could put an if this whole thing equals zero, then null, otherwise do that whole thing. But I think I want to do it a little bit more efficiently than that. Uh, that's a little bit lazy. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to replace my rows function. So I'm going to do something with this. And let's see, I'll, I'll show you what we do. Um, so I can go equals, uh, let's use the search function again. So equals search, I'm going to use that same exact method where I'm going to take only a portion of it. And I'm going to close that off. And that's going to give me um, a bunch of ones and value errors. What I'm trying to do is uh, count all of these ones to give us a max. So I'm going to go if error comma zero, close that off. And then what I can do is actually just wrap that around with a sum function. And that's going to give me the total number of names that aren't blanks in that range. So I'm going here, control shift enter gives me 16. And let's see, what can I do with that? So I can go, go to my rows function and I'm gonna go if uh, row C3 through C3 equals 16. Let's put a blank here. Otherwise, Let's put this rows back here. So this is my K value. So if I put a value in my K that uh, the small function can understand, such as a blank, it'll give me an error, which I'm actually trying to achieve because I want an error so I can distinguish, um, so I can blank it out with an if error around the whole thing. Um, okay, so I think I can, okay, and then I'm gonna add another parentheses to close off that small function. And then I'm going to hit Control Shift Enter, and that should work. Okay, but um, rather than having this 16 here, let's go ahead and uh, just copy this guy. And I'm going to replace this E3 cell with that formula. Control Shift Enter because it's an array. Drop it down. And last but not least, we can add our if error. If error, value, value, null, control, shift, enter, bring it down, and... Okay, so I made a little bit of a mistake. I want to see if the rows are actually greater than the sum of this. So not equal, but greater to. And then I'm going to hit control, shift, enter, drop it down, and hopefully this will work. Okay, perfect. So uh, once that this row passes the number of values in here, it creates an error, and as soon as it hits that error, this if error converts it into a blank, which is how that works. Um, anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, again, my email is xlsxgeek at gmail.com, or leave a comment below. All right, thank you very much. Bye.